Welcome folks, welcome to another Let's Play. I'm Black Templar and welcome to Final Fantasy X, the HD Remaster Edition. Now, as many of you may not know, a few years ago I promised that I would do a Final Fantasy series. Unfortunately, during that time there were some technical limitations and abilities I couldn't do. But thanks to the power of the PS4, we can actually do this series. Now, I am going to do X and 9. I haven't decided I'm going to do 15 or not yet. I haven't thought, I'm thought, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know yet. But the reason I'm doing X first, then 9, is because, as many of you may not know, oops, sorry about that, that tends to happen, um, I'm more of a fan of um, of 9 than X, and as many of you know from my Final Fantasy lit Top 5 list, which I do suggest you check out after this video, I do like Final Fantasy X and 9. Now, as far as X2 goes, I'm leaving it up to you guys in the comments if you want me to play it or not, it's up to you, because I know that one is a bit finicky, a lot of people... Some people like it, some people hate it, so I'll leave it to you guys to the side. But anyway, folks, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to delve into the world of Final Fantasy X. Let's go. I have been looking forward to this for a long time. Now, I am no expert, I'll be honest. I have played this game a lot, but I'm no expert in the Spear Grid, because the Spear Grid expert mode is very hard. Although it gives you more power to unlock, I'll go with the standard, because I'm not going to release everything, guys, I'm going to be honest, but I will try and get as many of the secrets as I can. Yep, I'm going for the standard. Mm, I'll, go with the, I'll go with the new soundtrack. I know the old one would be a classic to make people, but I like the new one as well. Yep. <clears throat> so, we're going to be delving in. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. And so the adventure begins. Now I had to go silent, guys. You've got to respect that opening. I feel this is with Square Enix, you know, one of their best openings and musical scores, you know, they've done. I mean, don't get me wrong, 15 was brilliant, but if my view, this is one of the best opening scores. And you have to give it respect. So, let us begin this crazed adventure. Wow. Kind of swanky. Believe it or not, guys, this game, Final Fantasy X, was the reason I bought a PS2. Because when I saw this game, you know, in the magazine, it looked, you know, pretty cool. And I, and I wanted to play it. See, at the time, I had a, a PS1, and this was going on a PS2, I thought, well, I better buy a PS2 then, because I've always loved the Final Fantasy franchise, I've always loved it, and to get a chance to play it was was great on PS2, but playing it now, I feel so nostalgic, but I love it. 
Wow, that's quite a fanfare for you. Meet Titus, ladies and gentlemen, the hero of the story. So let's talk to our fans here. Can I have your autograph? Of course. <laughs> yep. Now, I know a lot of people tend to get this poor, this guy's name mixed up either Tedious or Titus. It really does depend, you know, where you are in the world. You know, the English language. Eh, what are you gonna do? So yeah, I'll confirm this. Yep, proceed. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. I score a goal. I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> Show Boda. He's blocking the front row. This from the right. Got it. Right. It seems our friend here is a bit of a celebrity and looks like a sports star. Can you sign this? No problem. <laughs> no, I guess he, I guess he must get used to it. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three. She just had a blitz. Hey, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um. Can't tonight. Huh? I mean tomorrow. Promise? Promise. Okay, that kid was a bit weird. Now keep an eye what those kids just did. That will come prevalent later. I have to admit, you know, for its time, the graphics are pretty good for their time. I mean, the remastering is well done. You can tell Squeenix really took the time of this. in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jacked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Right, so that that Make person, way, Jet, way. that they talk about, he's also going to come Coming into through, big light sorry. later on. Jesus, come on, man. I got a game hey, to play. I'm gonna be late. <clears throat> I could have stayed there, and guys, hey, and you know, listen to all the dialogue, away. but let's be honest, guys, there's nothing major about it. It's just talking about this game that's coming up. So, I'll let the cutscenes do their thing. But I gotta admit though, guys, I kinda see this actually being a real life sport. Blitzball. I can actually see that being a real life sport. Oh, I love this tune. The, this whole rock tune. Oh yeah. It's time to blitz. That's a big sake jar you got there, sir. This ain't good. Ooh, 
that hurt. Okay, this does not look good, does it? I think he's just seen this and went, oh shit. <laughs> but wouldn't you, you saw a big giant wave practically and firing lightning bolts or lasers? Looks like all hell's breaking. What else is new? I would say that match has been postponed. Ooh, looks like I really took a bad spill. Right, we got control now. Yeah, so we now know who he is. It's Orin. It might be one of the best badasses, you know, in Final Fantasy in my book. I mean, Gladius is classed as well, as well as, um, like, Vincent, but this guy's a cool badass. Him again? Does he have time freezing magic? It begins. Don't cry. Well, that was chippy. What the? Uh. Hey, wait. <laughs> that was chippy as hell. This does not look good. Called it sin. Sin? So that's what it's called, huh? Oh, great. What now? The Gribblies. Yeah, good luck, mate. I don't think you're gonna win with bare fists. Good. So a weapon. I guess he's shocked about that. And now we begin the tutorial, guys. Combat training. These ones don't matter. We cut through. Okay. So attack that one. Basically, guys, this is your classic, you know, training exercise to, to get, you know, equipped with the combat system. Oh, great! More of them. Easier said than done, Orin. That was cheeky. Alright, take care of those two. 
Okay, we're out of here. Oh, uh, more of them? Jeez, how many do you have? What was about these are Gribblies. There's usually like a horde of the buggers. Well, one crashed in the middle of the road. Yeah, good luck trying to stop him, Titus. He's not gonna listen. He's gonna dive headfirst into battle. Ow. That's very nice. Get out of my town! Some can't wait to die. Overdrive. This is the new. F this is the what you would call like an ultimate or trance or limit breaker. If you know your Final Fantasies, it's like the ultimate attack. So overdrive gives them a big power boost. Watch. This is Orange, which is Bushido, Dragon Fang. So he can hit everyone. Now this one's. Yeah, his is a you know a button masher. Similar to Cell, you remember Cell from Final Fantasy VIII? Now, Final Fantasy VIII is one I wanted to do, but unfortunately, you know, it hasn't been remastered yet, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait till that happens. But I would love to do Final Fantasy VIII as well. Now, here's my overdrive Swordlay, Spiral Cut. His is more along lines of hit the middle kind of thing. Damn, I missed it. So I won't get the maximum, um, hit for crit shot but yeah each overdrive will have unique you know abilities and powers this should put a big nice dent yeah demean is a powerful spell but it doesn't kill it just cuts you know I think it takes 10% of your health away so, I'm not going to fuss about that. There we go. This should kill it off. Or not. Man, you are stubborn. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, that is a stubborn bugger. But yeah, like I said... This video, probably the next two videos actually will be all about tutorials, because tutorials and story making, because that's usually the case of Final Fantasy. Usually the first, like, I think hour or couple hours of the game is usually tutorials. Oh, right. Now this is a save sphere where I will save my games. There is no auto-save in this game. None. So if anyone ever gets this game, be warned, there are no auto-saves. You have to save it yourself. So, I'll do that right now. Yep. Saving new data. There we go. So do keep that in mind guys, there's no auto save in this game, you have to save. You have to do it manually. What are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here. <clears throat> We're expected. Huh? Give me a break, man! <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, he is not a big fan of his f of his father. So, yeah, there's more to this, but we'll get to that in a later date. But at the moment, we got a little problem. We have a horde to kill. Uh, go for this one. Uh oh. Best stop that one because if he's flickering, that means he's giving up for a big attack. And I'm not having that. Uh -oh, another one. Oh, great. Another one. Hmm. This could be bad. You think? What? Trust me, you'll see. Okay, Orin, we'll take your word. Take a 
few hits here. Good thing I did that save thing. Because the save travel speed does also one other thing. It regenerates your powers and your health. So, yeah, it's worth doing from time to time when you find one. Ow. Goodbye. Something tells me there's going to be a big boom. Yep. Incoming. Well, that's one way to get rid of a horde. Crush over a building. Can he make it? Just. I guess the explosion propelled him. Oh, crap. Okay, this looks like it's gonna hurt. Who was he talking to? This is it. This is your story. Okay, we've just been evaporated by the looks of it, or teleported. Hey. Hmm. Hey. My old man. Uh, okay, where the heck are we now? Okay, this is pretty funky shit. Who's that? A kid? It was an old man, now it's a kid? I thought about a lot of things. Like, where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded, and then sleepy I think I had a dream a dream of being alone I wanted someone anyone beside me so I didn't have to feel alone anymore I think it's more along the lines you're lightheaded from looks like time looks like game um, warp travel by the looks of it because that's what it looked like to me jeez this is a cheery sight